Hi, I'm Sophia Vanciulli and this is my home tour. So we bought the property in 2018 and we embarked on a really big renovation project. We added two huge barns um, to the back of the property. We're currently standing in the kitchen which kind of is where the house transfers from old to new. We were inspired by an image we'd seen of a Devol kitchen on Pinterest and it was in this beautiful colour railings by Farron and Ball. We got a carpenter to do bespokely make it using cheaper carcasses from Howden's and added a lovely quartz worked up on top. So one of my favourite things about this kitchen is the ceiling. We exposed the ceiling joists. We were renovating the original part of the house. I thought, well, you know, whitewash that and uh, see how it looks. And uh, it's now, I think, one of the most sort of interesting parts of this space. My beautiful light here, which again was uh, bringing in something a little bit more modern contemporary to the space. So I got this commissioned from my lighting guy that's out in India. We also added in this beautiful double fluted shore sink. Makes uh, washing up with the kids a lot easier. We added some sort of more luxe detail with getting the Devol fittings. We also then used the quartz to travel up and use as a splashback. And again, add that little bit of extra off cut to create a shelf. My antique frames that I've got, um, my favourite wiggle candlestick there from Maud Vaughan, um, my Turkish pots, which uh, I've been collecting around the house from uh, a really amazing Turkish supplier that I found on Etsy. And then my many chopping boards that you'll see in the kitchen. Um, again, we, we love entertaining in the summer and uh, being able to get out big food platters on the island or in the garden. Now I'll take you through to the lounge and uh, show you kind of the showpiece of the house. So this is my living room space um, and it's where me and my husband spend our evenings. We were originally didn't actually have this dining table here and we kind of did just have this void. It felt like it needed something and we are people that love, like I say, having friends around for dinner and we're like, we need to have an eating spot here. So uh, yeah, we got this beautiful table from Soho Home and then I got these uh, ch chairs from Six The Residence. Also my beautiful wiggle mirrors from there too. This is where we would sort of do more informal eating. Once children are in bed, we move into this space here. So the aim for this room was to design a space that was just light, something that makes me feel calm, a space that I can fully relax in. I knew I kind of wanted it to all be in that sort of one tone, creams, off-whites, but then be able to bring the interest for me. It's very much about building textures, bringing in the boucle fabric and against the beautiful arabescata marble, which I had uh, made by a designer called uh, Atelier 278. She's done a few pieces that you'll see around the house. Even our sofa, which was actually originally like a teal velvet, we had it reupholstered um, into this lovely linen and I now can remove these and wash these and it's actually a lot easier to maintain. I think as well for this space, it was very much about the ceiling and the, the cladding in this room. Again, keeping the, the tones in here very neutral meant that your eye could still be drawn to what was again our main sort of idea for the space which was accentuating the vaulted ceiling. Even the art is by me, it's something of a lockdown project I uh, got bored and started uh, getting the paintbrush out. So we now walk through into the dining room space which is where we use for sort of more occasions, bigger groups of friends, Christmas, uh, again once we're using the, uh, the courtyard in the summer we very much open the doors, spread this table full of food and people can come in and out and uh, enjoy the space. It's a really old table. I think we might have even got it off the in-laws and just repainted it black to being able to touch it up if the kids ever scratch it, mark it. It's actually the most durable way for me to be able to maintain a, uh, a dining table with children. The dining chairs I actually found from Facebook Marketplace. I absolutely love the, the curved detail to them. So I had the light designed again by my uh, lighting designer that I work with out in India. Again, something sculptural and beautiful just to create a little bit more magic in this space. So the inspiration behind the design of the extension that we added was uh, we'd been to Soho Farmhouse back in 2017 and I fell in love with the design of the boathouse there which was these three pitched barns. We went with two barns and created this lovely courtyard space in the middle. Again the house is very much inspired by travels, by hotels that me and my husband have 
stayed in. So I now take you through to the family room. So this is where we spend our time as a family together at the weekends, after school. Kids' toys are all cleverly packed away into uh, some cupboards I had built by my carpenter. My sofa is from sofa.com. Um, it's honestly the comfiest sofa I think I've ever sat on. One of my favorite pieces of art actually in my house, uh, this is by um, a guy called Studio Lawrence, George. He's a good friend of mine now. Marble table is from West Elm. My rug, um, I've got a great contact out in Marrakesh where I get it straight from, straight from the makers. Loving the checkered design um, that's very much on trend at the moment. And uh, again, it just brings something a little bit more fun to this space. The paint on the wall is Off Black by Farrow and Ball. And again, we just added some paneling crystal fill that you can bring that sort of 3D design into, into space. So we are now sat in my bedroom which is directly across from my living room space that we were just in. So with this room, we added, again, as much glazing as we could. We took it right up to the, the apex of the room. And again, we've got two sets of doors here, so we can either open up to the back of the garden or open up onto the courtyard. Um, and the sun rises in the back of the garden, so we get that first thing in the morning comes flooding in this room, um, and it's really beautiful. And that's what I really enjoy about kind of keeping the the interior is all very neutral is that it wakes me up with a bit more brightness to my day and again you know this is where I've then added a few more pops of color one of my favorite colors is green when I found this beautiful marble table from an antique seller called uh, Maud Vaughan uh, my beautiful Henry Holland vase which I absolutely adore and that terracotta color most of my rugs in the house are from straight from Marrakesh um, and this one I, I particularly love it's just so soft and and gorgeous and uh, brings a lovely neutral tone across the floor to kind of, you know, travel in with the bed. The bed's from Heels. Another piece of art that I uh, dare say I did myself. So please don't look too closely. And one of my favorite pieces I got gifted by my husband is my Connor Brothers piece. It needed a nice big wall to, uh, to be seen. Just off here is my walk-in wardrobe, which connects through to my ensuite. I went to a beautiful hotel in uh, the north of Ibiza and uh, saw this beautiful teal gloss tile on the wall in the restaurant and uh, fell in love with it. This is my son Leo's room that he shares with his tortoise Pickles designed around wanting to keep it as playful as I could. That was very much what inspired the design of sort of adding this house design to the carpentry here above his bed. Nice big toy storage here that lifts up. So this bedroom is part of the ground floor extension and I'm now gonna take you round to the upstairs of the original part of the house. This part of the house was built in the 1800s. So it was where there was a lot more period features. And uh, again, this cot felt really fitting and the, the rose gold, which I didn't think I would love, but I absolutely adore. Um, I then just sort of pulled that color and went, I'm just gonna wrap it around the whole room. So this is a really lovely color by Farron Ball called Setting Plaster. With my little Zara home, which I think is a great store for, you know, for children's interiors. So the chair and the, the cushions are from there. Just collecting different prints and stuff that are kind of sentimental to my daughter. Uh, her name's Luna, so there's little nods to moons in this room. This is our family bathroom, which uh, I was inspired to sort of bring more industrial style finishes in here. I've got cross water fittings here. We actually found this uh, vanity unit from Tika Moon. Everything I'd been coming across for a sort of vanity units were really sort of traditional style, so. Um, it was a, a great find. It really fitted in with then the shower screen that we had made. Uh, I sort of drew this out and uh, had this done with some galvanized metal to finish. These 3D sort of tiles are from Diesel Living. It's a beautiful, nice, big sort of hotel-like shower to enjoy. So the last bedroom I'm gonna show you is our guest bedroom. Uh, I absolutely adore this space. It's such a nice, calm, light room. We've got two beautiful big sash windows on either side of the room that just flood the room from sunrise to sunset. We spend a lot of time as a family in Ibiza and wanted to bring in sort of those real natural bohemian sort of aspects with the linens. I, I love the sort of 
bringing accents of black into a space. So these uh, little pendant lights are from Menu Space and uh, a great space saving way to add sort of bedside lights. We've got a, a leaning floor mirror here that's from William Wood. And again, I love adding mirrors to rooms because it just helps to create a bit more space. I uh, have a, a, a love of hats, so I have a, a big collection and rather than wanting to get squashed away in a wardrobe, I thought I'd make a feature on the wall and, and grab some hooks and uh, have them there. And uh, again, they sort of take pride of place. So now let's head back downstairs so I can show you my office. Welcome to my office. This is where I run my interior design business. So uh, cupboards are filled with samples and tester pots. We added this carpentry in ourselves to, again, just bring some more storage into the space. But also I love to be able to sort of have shelves to be able to style and play around with. I'm forever changing this side of the, uh, the shelves here with my sort of favorite trinkets that I collect. We then added in this beautiful paneling to the bottom of the room uh, to just, again, bring some more character back into the space and then to sort of contrast, I wanted to add something a little bit more contemporary to the finish of the wall. So I added in, uh, did some bow work painting myself. Uh, it's in a shade called Mykonos and then filled it with, again, some more sort of minimalistic style pieces of art here. This is by Hannah Noble. This is again, another Studio Lawrence piece. One of my favorite uh, recent purchases is this beautiful wave chair from Rachel Donath. She's a incredible, furniture designer from Australia. So I had that shipped in and uh, got caught with a ship in Texas, but uh, it was worth it. This room is all about sort of adding different elements and different textures and materials so that when I'm working, I'm inspired to incorporate that into my design work. This table again, uh, isn't sort of your traditional desk shape. Uh, I wanted something round, something a bit more inviting for when I've got clients here and we're sort of sat together going through samples. This was uh, commissioned by Artelia 278, again in a, in a nice filled travertine, which again is one of my favorite stone finishes. Thank you for joining me on this home tour and I hope you've enjoyed looking around.